For me, music has always been fun. I think that if something like this were around when I was a kid, I would um, have enjoyed it enormously. The program really began when one of my piano students approached me about putting together something that would take piano education into the schools. She's on the board of the Dublin International Piano Competition and wanted to bring the music that the competition really supports to a new audience. We got a phone call from the the IPC people to say, look, we're, we have this little idea of kind of coming up with a project that would implement kind of piano teaching in, in the classroom. I'm very interested in music and I happen to be the director of school placement in CICE. So for me, there was an interest in how this might facilitate music education in schools and support student teachers in their endeavours in that regard. I have done up to grade eight in my piano. So when I heard the opportunity to get children interested in it, and to allow them the opportunities to perform, I was really happy to do. And you used to just come in a box, you'd open it up, and it would only play in a suitable volume for just the room you were in. The joy of this piano project is that you only need a computer, internet access, and access to a piano. The five particular half an hour sessions happen in either fourth, fifth, or sixth class in the primary school, and they introduce the history of the piano, they introduce pieces that have been written for the piano that are quite famous, that the children would know, but wouldn't necessarily realise where it comes from. So it's the idea is to really give young children an opportunity to learn a little bit more about this, understand how the piano works, learn a little bit about the composers for the instrument, and come away with a different sense of knowledge about this thing that is classical piano music. And then this one's like in between, and then that one's the softest. The three strands of the music curriculum, you've got your listening and responding, you're composing, you're performing, they're all being implemented at the same time in a really practical, simple way that isn't arduous for the teacher to, to implement and is actually fun for the children, which means it makes life easier for the teacher when they're doing it as well. There's one. Oh, so there's one? Yep. And then here there's two, and then up here there's three. One of the greatest things about this program is that it introduces these children to someone who's playing the piano at an extraordinarily high level. They were all really, really engaged with the project because they knew that someone was going to come in and they wanted to know all about how the piano worked and what kind of pieces they'd be playing and to be able to identify the different aspects of the music that they were playing. Uh, introducing music to young people at this stage is very important for their life. trying to encourage our young up-and-coming pianists to take part, to go out to the schools. And in some respects, it's kind of like music's version of an Olympian. Uh, so for the young children in the classroom, it's a great chance to ask those questions that they would never get answered anywhere else, and to see someone playing at such an elite level. So that's how the competition is, is helping to make it very current and in the moment for these young children. Certainly I would have benefited greatly from a programme like this uh, when I was younger because it would introduce me to a person who is actively involved and you know, doing this as a job. 15 or 16, when I felt like, yeah, this, this is going well, I'm going to put more time into that. The feedback has been very positive from principals and also from the students themselves. It was all like really amazing, but probably the best part was learning about how it's changed since the 1700s to the 21st century right now. I thought it was interesting the way you could take the piano apart and it would still sound the same way. I liked that like you could see the inside of the piano and you could see all like the different strings and the hammers and when people played the keys they would like move. It has been proven recently that the uh, scores in maths and general learning levels dramatically improves if they learn music at an early age. It gives student teachers a confidence that they know something, they've had an immersion in something that they can bring to their cooperating teacher. Would you recommend this piano project to be done again? Yes. 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 They've loved it. They love the opportunity to come and be able to play and show their classmates 
that they are able to play the piano. I think every single primary school should have it. After all, it's a module, and what the children will get out of it is immense. One of the most important things for the Dublin International Piano Competition is to try to share this with a new generation, to share the love that they have for the piano and the music that's been written for it with our new audiences. And there's not enough of that happening really in music in this country. Because some of them are fantastic at playing the piano and it would be lovely to be able to say to them, if this is your dream, pursue it, this is what you can do. Some of them will turn out to be concert pianists, some of them won't, but it gives you a knowledge of music and a, a, an appreciation for the arts that will actually last your whole life long.